Okay, this is going to be a quick video just showing you how to use uh, one of the Zapier integrations. Uh, so there's a lot of things that you can do with Zapier. You can connect to, to more than 3,000 different apps. Um, so depending on what you want to do, it's going to vary slightly uh, depending on the app uh, because you're going to want to send different information to different places. However, what you're going to want to do is sign up for a Zapier account. They do have free accounts as well. Uh, so this demo is using a free account just to show what kind of options are available. And you can also upgrade if you are going to be doing more things, automating more things in your business. Uh, Zapier is great. It's very affordable as well for the kind of automation that it offers. Um, so what we're going to want to do is when you first log in on your dashboard, it's going to ask you to create a workflow. And you're going to want to connect this app with this one. So it's, it's all just relationship building stuff. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is we will search in here and we will type in Orbis X and we see we have Orbis X there and then we're going to want to connect it to an app. So let's just say in this case we're going to connect to Google Calendar. So we will go Google Calendar. So we're going to connect Orbis X to Google Calendar. Then we want to select what they call triggers. So they have triggers and actions. Triggers would be in this case where something's going to happen on Orbis and it's going to trigger an event to happen. And that's going to be saving uh, or creating a new Google Calendar event. Um, so there's also actions, which would be the opposite way, which would be writing data to Orbis. You can do that as well. So, for example, if you had an event that goes into Google Calendar, you could write that to uh, Orbis X and that would be using an action. But in this case, we're going to use a trigger. So when this happens, and this is where we're going to want to choose uh, new events, for example. So we'll choose new event and then we want it to do this. So the action we're going to see what Google's got available and we will choose this one here, for example, quick add event. So we're going to choose that. So now we can say quick add event in Google Calendar when new events are in Orbis X. Perfect. So now we're going to click try it. And that's going to go to the next page, which this is finalizing your zap. And so it's going to ask you to log into your account. And you can do that by manage connected accounts. Uh, this one already has an account logged in. Um, so we'll... Uh, click that then we'll click continue and then from here the first thing they want to do is test your trigger so they want to make sure that it's working so they're going to find recent events in your Orbis X account we're going to do test trigger and it's going to search for recent events and it found an event perfect so then we'll go down to continue and now it's going to go to your Google Calendar and it's set to the action is quick add event so we'll just leave that alone and then we're going to choose a calendar and so I have a demo calendar here set up and we'll hit continue and now you're going to do what they call field mapping or data mapping and this is where you're going to want to choose a calendar that you have um, so let me just see here if I have anything that's I'll just put it in this one here that's the demo one perfect and then now you're going to want to describe the event um, so for this you have fields available from uh, the event that's posted in Orbis X uh, so we'll look for details for example that might be the description uh, maybe the title and this is where you can really choose anything you want you're choosing fields that are going to be saved in the Google event um, attendees so on and so forth this is the only required field that they have uh, so there's some other ones where you can add more uh, for example if I went back here choose app and event and I change this to create detailed event for example in Google it's going to give me different options and so let's go back now and it's going to be you know summary for example this is where you could put uh, your details so we'll put details and then description or oh, I guess description that would make more sense for details um, there we go and so we'll change this we'll change this to title instead so let's just backspace and we'll do title so that's gonna be the summary then details and then you can do things like location and so you can basically for all these fields you have all these different options that are here so for example service address that might be where location um, and then you can add different things you know like uh, the date and time and we'll go down here and we'll choose date and time perfect so there's a lot of different uh, options you have for Google for example but depending on the app you're integrating this with if it's you know Google Docs or Excel or QuickBooks or whatever you're gonna fill in different fields but essentially you go through and you can see all the fields that you have available to you and then it's as simple as clicking on something and you can choose from one of the Orbis X options that's posted 
Um, and that's what's called field mapping. So you're just mapping these different fields like how we have here, start date and time, and we're taking the date and time from the event that was created in Orbis, and we're going through and doing it that way. And then once you have all the required fields uh, filled out, you'll be able to continue. I've obviously missed some on this particular one because this is the more detailed one. Uh, enter date and time. I thought I did that. Oh, end date and time because I had the start date and time. Okay, and then you're going to have to choose the calendar as well. But basically, you're going to go through, match up all these fields. This is field mapping. And then once you've done all the field mapping, that's where you just do continue. And then it's going to turn on your zap. And then what's going to happen is every time that a new event is saved in Orbis X, it's going to push that event to Google Calendar as well. Now, it's not just Google Calendar. It could be anything. It could be, you know, thousands of different apps that they have available. Um, so this one is happens to be Google Calendar, but as you can see, there's this is just a very short list. See, look, and 2,000 more. So you could search. Uh, there's tons of things. Let's say you want to push this to Slack, for example, for your Slack team. You could do that as well. Um, you could. There's so many. There's Shopify. There's Facebook has a bunch of options as well. You can do things with Facebook pages. So for your business, um, a, a cool one actually is Google my business um, so you can also do things with google my business as well uh, a lot of people have google my business accounts set up and if you don't you should and then you can have your data push back and forth between orbis x and google my business so that's essentially how to use zapier as well as do the data mapping very very straightforward and then you can have uh, those tasks zapped automatically between apps and you can do the reverse as well so you can set up an action that sends from you know google events to Orbis X or from QuickBooks to Orbis X and so on and so forth. All right. Happy zapping.